Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, quarter circle uh, fully confined in a big uh, circle whose uh, center is O. As you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the side lengths uh, of this quarter circle are 8 and 8 units. And moreover, this uh, angle is uh, 90 degrees. And now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded region inside this big circle please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step let's go ahead and connect uh, these points a and uh, c as you can see in this uh, next uh, diagram and now let's recall the Thales uh, theorem according to this theorem if a b and c are uh, distinct point on the circle as you can see in our case and moreover if uh, this uh, a b c is our 90 degree angle then this uh, line uh, a c is going to be our diameter in other words this line is going to pass through this center o and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ABC. Let me go ahead and label the radius uh, of this uh, big circle as uh, uppercase R and this radius uppercase R as well. Then this whole uh, diameter is going to be R plus R is going to become uh, 2R. And now let's go ahead and apply the Pythagorean theorem to calculate uh, this uh, radius uh, r and now let's recall the pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square let me go ahead and call this side uh, a this side uh, b and our longest leg uh, as our side uh, c now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, pythagorean formula a in our case is 8 so it's going to become 8 square likewise uh, this is going to become 8 square as well equal to c in our case is uh, 2r and then a whole square so let's go ahead and simplify we're gonna get uh, 64 plus once again 64 equal to 4 r square so 64 plus 64 is going to give us uh, 128 equal to 4 r square let's go ahead and divide both sides by 4 to isolate uh, r square and here this 4 and 4 is gone so therefore r square value turns out to be 32 and here's our next step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, right uh, triangle abc and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times uh, base times uh, height and in our case is our base uh, is 8 uh, and the height is 8 as well so let's go ahead and calculate the area of this triangle ABC now. So it's going to be a half times uh, our base is uh, 8 uh, and height is 8 uh, as well. Let's go ahead and simplify. That is going to give us uh, 32. So thus the triangle ABC area turns out to be 32 square units. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, quarter circle uh, now. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula, area equal to pi r square, where r is the radius uh, of this uh, quarter circle. Let me go ahead and represent the radius of this quarter circle as uh, lowercase r. So our uh, radius uh, is going to become uh, 8. So therefore the area of this uh, quarter circle is going to be pi times uh, our radius uh, is uh, 8 whole square and since we are dealing with this quarter circle so therefore we are going to divide this one by 4 so let's go ahead and simplify the right hand side 8 square is 64 pi divided by 4 and that is going to give us 16 times pi square units so therefore the area of this quarter circle turns out to be 16 pi and here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, pink uh, shaded region. And now we can see that uh, this uh, pink shaded region area is going to be equal to 
this uh, quarter circle area minus the area of this uh, right triangle uh, ABC as you can see in this uh, equation and we have already figured out uh, the quarter circle area as 16 pi and the triangle ABC area as uh, 32. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks uh, in this uh, equation. So therefore this uh, pink shaded uh, region area is going to be I'm going to replace uh, these values. So this is uh, 16 pi minus uh, 32. So thus our pink uh, shaded area turns out to be 16 pi minus 32. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the semicircle area as you can see over here whose radius is uh, uppercase uh, r. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula once again. Area is uh, pi r square where r is the radius uh, of the circle. In our case uh, our radius is uppercase r. So therefore our semicircle uh, area is going to be pi times uh, r square. And since we are dealing with the semicircle so therefore I am going to divide this one uh, by 2 and as you can see our r square value is uh, 32 that we already figured out so I'm going to replace this r square by 32 over here so therefore this could be written as pi times uh, 32 divided by 2 so therefore this uh, semicircle area is going to be 16 pi square units so thus the area of this uh, semicircle turns out to be 16 pi. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded region. And now we can see that this uh, blue shaded region area is equal to this uh, whole uh, semicircle area minus uh, this uh, pink uh, region area as you can see in this uh, equation. And as you can see we already figured out uh, our semicircle area and uh, the pink uh, shaded uh, region area as well. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks uh, in this uh, equation. So our semicircle uh, area is uh, 16 pi minus uh, the pink shaded region area is uh, 16 pi minus uh, 32. And now let's go ahead and distribute uh, this uh, negative uh, sign. So therefore we are going to have uh, 16 pi minus uh, 16 pi plus uh, 32. And as we can see that this 16 pi and 16 pi is uh, gone. So therefore we are just simply ended up with the 32 square units. So thus our blue shaded region area turns out to be 32 square units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.